because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws. The saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. Because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. Remember, O oh Lord, for David, all his anxious care. Because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Because, because of, the of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral laws, the saints of God persevered in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph out as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus,
Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love because the hearts of the Holy Ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although the full right in Christ to order to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love, being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for G Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child, Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who, who was once useless to you, but now is useful to both you and me. I am sending him, that is, my own heart back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment, imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent, so that the good you do might not be forced, but voluntary. Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self? Yes, brother. I, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed, Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains. But the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 
I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus said in reply, The coming of the kingdom of God cannot be observed, and no one will announce, look, here it is, or there it is. For behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Then he said to his disciples, the days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the Son of Man, but you will not see it. There will be those who will look who will say to you, look, there he is, or look, here he is. Do not go off, do not run in pursuit, for just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we honor one of the great bishops of the church, Saint Josephat. He lived about 450 years ago. That's a pretty long time, right? 450 years. But Josephat was concerned about the unity of the church. All of us who are baptized, we make up, as St. Paul tells us, we make up the body of Christ. And the body of Christ is the church. That's us. We are the body of Christ. And there have been, in the course of the many centuries, people who have disagreed in the church. Notably, part of the church in the East has separated itself from the church in the West. And the body of Christ has been divided. Do you think that's a good thing for the body of Christ to be divided? No. Neither did St. Joseph had. He worked for the unity of the church. He worked to have the church brought together. We should not be divided because Jesus does not want his church divided. His body is one. Jesus prays, and we hear this in the Gospel of John, he prays to the Father, and Jesus prays, Father, may my disciples be one as you and I are one. When there is division in the church, we are not faithful in our witness to Jesus. He wants his church to be one. So today, we honor St. Joseph and we take his example of working for unity, especially with our Orthodox brothers and sisters. The Orthodox Church is the Eastern Church. They're very close to us in many ways, but we are not in union. We have been divided. And as you grow older and read history and learn about these things, you'll learn about the reasons why the church got divided. But suffice it to say now, we want to ask God to inspire hearts in imitation of St. Josephat, inspire hearts 
to work to be one. Do you, you think you would want your family to be divided? Has anybody ever thought about that? If your family is fighting and brothers and sisters aren't getting along and mom and dad and children are not getting along, is that a good thing? No. We want the family to be together. And so too, this big family the church is one big family. We are the children of God, and we want to be one. So we ask St. Josephat today to help us, first of all, pray for unity and work for unity, especially with our brothers and sisters in the Orthodox Church, that we come together in faith so that we can be a faithful witness of God's love in the world. Amen? We bring all our needs and petitions before our loving Father. that the church may remain faithful in times of uncertainty, we pray to the Lord. That all people of faith may remain watchful and be faithful in their witness to Jesus, we pray to the Lord. that the world's peoples may not be led astray by false prophets or false leaders, we pray to the Lord. That the sick may trust the invisible work of God within them, we pray to the Lord. For the unity of the church, that through the intercession of St. Josephat, our brothers and sisters in the Orthodox Church may be reunited with us. We pray to the Lord. For much needed rain in our area for our ranchers and farmers, we pray to the Lord. that the dead may behold the bright flash of Christ's return. And as today we remember in a special way Harvey Santos, the cousin of Deacon uh, Garcia. We pray to the Lord. God beyond us, God within us, we await the day when what is now hidden will be revealed in all its fullness. Make us watchful for Christ's appearance, that we may behold his glory in the present day, and so welcome him on the day to come, when Christ will reign forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph had professed by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Josephat, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sun celi et terra, gloria tua. Osana in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini. Osana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Josephat, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, Mario, our Auxiliary Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it in eternity, says the Lord.
sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Josephat's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii even. A te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in ac lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, ilos tuo. Misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Iesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. Christ. 